Gil Hammerstein speaking. Ah, sure. It's so nice to... Okay, okay, okay. Yes, sir. The plans are all in place. I I'm down at the Mermelayer set now, and I am confident we have found the... Yes, sir. I'm aware how important the anniversary special of Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy is, and I'm completely convinced... Yes, sir. Sure, sure, sure. We'll put all the contestants through their paces. See how they do in the three scenes, and the one that performs the best will get the part. Yes, sir. And the most popular contender overall will get the coveted super villain role. <laughs> Good one, pal. I I am so, so, so sorry, sir. So sorry I, I called you that. I, I just got a bit carried away with the moment. It, it won't happen again. Yes, sir. Okay, okay, okay. Just leave it to me. I'll take care of everything. Miss Pennington, get me the first contest host on the line. No! Bubble Bass! I couldn't have picked a greater culinary connoisseur to judge the best waiter. No, you could not. My superior gastronomic and gourmet skills will sort the majestic from the meek. <laughs> uh-huh, right. So, how is that high-fat, high-carb thing working out for you anyway? Fine. Thank you very much. Anywho, just make sure you sort the good from the bad. Of course I will. That's why you chose me. Right. I'll be waiting. Bubble Bash, how did the waiter trials go? As I suspected, they were all terrible. It was a complete and utter waste of my valuable time. Just tell me who the winner is. It pains me to say this, but the only mildly competent one was Squarepants. Fine! That wasn't so hard, now was it? Get Mr. Squarepants down to the Krusty Krab set. Ah, the Krusty Krab, home of the world-famous Krabby Patty. And today, it is... Hey, buddy! I'm narrating this scene! Pardon? Ooh, sorry. My mistake. Please. Carry on. Thank you. <clears throat> the Krusty Krab! Here we find Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy sent to find the Sneaky Hermit. But the Hermit is not here. Only tasty and nutritious meals at affordable prices. Ooh, Monsieur, that was very good. Why, thank you. I have had some training and... Hey, is this thing still on? Ooh, the Barnacles. Oh, come on, Mermaid Man. That shady character of the beach obviously sent us on a wild goose chase. Don't be silly, son. There are no wild geese here. We're at the bottom of the ocean. Waiter. Oh, jeez. Ah, yeah. huh. A little more pepper, please. I sure do love it. Pepper up! A little more. More. A little more, thanks. Just a bit more. Uh, how about you just keep that pepper? Thanks. I sure love that pepper. Hey, no. <laughs> We're wasting time. We should be out finding the Sneaky Hermit. Did you say Sneaky Hermit? Yes, I did. The Hermit used to be in my tap dancing class. Well, that's a coincidence. Uh-huh. Do you have any idea where this Hermit is now? Nuh uh Well, have you seen anything suspicious? Would suspicious be like uh, seeing Man Ray drag a wriggling sack into the chum bucket, perhaps? I call that suspicious. Cause no one goes into the chum bucket. When did you see this? Now, out the window. Merciful muscles, Mermaid Man, we've got work to do. To the chum bucket! Thank you for coming to the Krusty Krab. Please come again! Oh, yes. Thanks. Uh, now where was I? Oh yeah! To the chum bucket! Away! Harry, how's the lifeguard business treating you? You know, surf, sand, and sun. The usual. Super! So, what tryouts do you have planned for our contestants? Well, Gil, I have three beach activities that should test whether they have the right stuff. 
Great! Let's see if they sink. Or swim. <laughs> Good one, Gil. <laughs> okay, I'll be waiting. Let the games begin! Larry, how did the beach tryouts go? They were awesome. The little guys tried their hearts out. And who was the winner? The square absorbent one, SpongeBob. SpongeBob? Okay, I guess that could work. See if Wardrobe has a pair of trunks for Mr. SquarePants. On the lookout for a crab called the Sneaky Hermit, who is still at large and may have accomplices. You're in the news, boss! Oh, I'm so proud of you! Well, sure, boss. I'll stick to my lookout job. Let's see what I can see. Fishy. Fishy, fishy. <laughs> oh, my favorite superheroes! <laughs> I might have these the wrong way around. Greetings, sea creature. Wow! What can I get you, gentlemen? Gelp Sunday? Sea cucumber split? Information on any of the major supervillains? Super what now? No, I'd like two scoops of high fiber ice cream with Brussels sprout sprinkles. Oh, thought you might have been looking for a supervillain. Someone hermit-like, a bit sneaky. There's a sale on underpants. I, I mean, a sneaky hermit. That's the one. Was here not long back. Said something about being hungry. Something about the crusty crab. Jumpin' jellyfish mermaid man. The sneaky hermit must be at the crusty crab. We should go immediately. Well, I don't need new undies, but I'm happy to go. To the Krusty Krab! Away! Well, I got rid of them for you. I will make sure you get a pretty badge for your service. Great. Thanks. No, really. Yellow. Hi, boss! Oh, yep, I won't let anyone else through. No one's getting past these super sharp eyes again. Barnacles! Ah! What can I do for you, Mr. Man Ray and Mr. Dirty Bubble Sirs? Oh, I knew these disguises wouldn't work. What a waste of two bucks. Uh, we're looking for the Sneaky Hermit's secret hideout. The secret one? That's just over the hill there. Well, that was easy. Sure. Follow the signs. You can't miss it. Mrs. Puff, simply delightful to have you hosting this round of auditions. Mr. Hammerstein, it's an honor that you chose my boating school as a set for your new show. And what have you got in mind for our contestants? I will be testing their driving skills. To get the police officer role, they'll have to ace these driving tests. Great, Mrs. Puff, great. Just make sure you find the most qualified one amongst them. Oh, yes. Only the one with the most perseverance and skill will be qualified for this role. Okay, Mrs. Puff, let's get this part cast. Start your engines. Mrs. Puff, that was fantastic. So, who's our big star? Who is the best on the course? Oh, Mr. Hammerstein, I am so sorry. I have never seen such bad driving. This is truly a dark day for Mrs. Puff's driving school. Come now, Mrs. Puff. The audience loved it. I say, give them what they want. Now, who's the winner? Who won the police officer role? SpongeBob SquarePants. My worst student was the best of the bunch. SquarePants, eh? Who would have thought a guy without a license could have won that role? Get Mr. SquarePants down to the motor pool so he can be assigned a vehicle for the role. Ow! Ooh, sorry, Barnacle Boy. I must be in the passenger seat. Remind me again why we made the invisible boatmobile invisible. That rock hasn't moved for a while. And that seaweed is swaying a little too quickly. That coral looks awfully... Officers, be on the lookout for Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy in their invisible boatmobile. They are believed to be old and dangerous. Officer SpongeBob understands! Over! Officer, have you seen Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy? Wow. My heroes. That sounded like the invisible boatmobile. Was that them? Steven, I mean, Roger, I mean... Apprehend them at once. I am on it. I'm ready! I'm ready! I'm ready! 
Hey, I didn't know we had a radio. Sing along, Barnacle Boy. I love this song. That's not a song, you twit. It's a police siren, Barnacle Sing. We need time to solve the disappearing building mystery, and we can't do that if we're arrested. I'm sorry, I was thinking about cabbage. You were saying? Floor it! <laughs> Barnacle Boy, I know a shortcut that is confusing. Hold on! Meow. Request update on the chase, officer. Want to succeed? Having trouble? Oh, oh there they are! Uh, Mermaid Man? Not now, son. I'm trying to concentrate on all these deeds, twists, and turns. Uh, Mermaid Man? They'll never catch us now! They couldn't keep up with the boatmobile! I'm bringing them in, sir. Well, yeah, good to see real talent. You still upstaging your old pal Squidward? I live his dream whenever I can. It's the glory of genuine talent. It sure is. So, do you think you can find a star there at Sand Stadium? It'll be hard. What are you looking for? I want someone with rhythm and melody who can sing and dance. You know, a real performer. I want a star, William. No less! Well, I have a three-part audition that should sort the somebodies from the nobodies. Excellent. Well, what are you waiting for? Bring on the clowns. And make this good, William. I'll be waiting. William, baby! So, who's the star of this scene? Who's my maestro? The winner was... Yes? SpongeBob SquarePants! Really? I never would have picked him for being talented. Well, well. Nice work, Squilliam. I'll see you down at the country club tomorrow. Send Mr. SquarePants down to wardrobe. He is on his way to being a star! The Sand Stadium, cultural hub of our undersea art community, home of quality music from Bikini Bottom's finest performers, and also these guys. It's good to know if there's any trouble, the audience is safe tonight. For amongst them are Bikini Bottom's finest crime fighters. And also, these guys. Barnacle Boy. Barnacle Boy. Oh, what is it now? I'm trying to watch. Who's winning? What do you... Oh, look. I told you, it's a musical performance, not a football game. Ah, you're only saying that because your team's losing. Oh, no, I... Oh, jeez. Who scored? My big moment as a maestro! Stay cool, SpongeBob. They're all watching you. Ow! Yeah. The... Here's the whale pants! One, two, three, four! That quarterback is showing real promise this season. Did you find the hot dogs chewy this evening, Barnacle Boy? That wasn't a hot dog. It was the arm of the chair, you old coot. I thought it was a bit stale and hard to lift. Phew. I probably shouldn't have eaten all that cheesecake either. Maybe they're all getting up to dance? Oh. What have you done this time, Mermaid Man? Oh, look! It's Mermaid Man! He's gone mad and destroyed the Sand Stadium! Someone call the police! Mermaid Man must have gone evil! Evil! Ah, oh, jeez. Come on, Mermaid Man, we better get to the bottom of this disappearance before we're arrested. I hope the merchandise stand hasn't sold out of those big foam hands. I love those things. Karen, so lovely to talk to you again. How have you and your delightful husband, Plankton, been? Sheldon, don't get me started on him. After all these years wasting his time trying to corner the fast food market, now he thinks he can rule the world just by winning a role in a TV show, which is... Right. Well, hope that works out for him. Now, on to business. What are you intending to do with our hopefuls? Well, I have three challenges for them here in the Chum Bucket. 
Whoever survives them will be the one for the roll. Okay, are you ready for our wannabes? Yeah, sure. Send in the organic life forms. All right, I'll be checking out the action here. So, how did our actors do in the auditions for the captive role? They were keen, they were eager, they were... Eh, not very good. Surely one was better than the rest. Well, out of the contenders, SpongeBob SquarePants would make the best captive. SpongeBob. Okay then, thanks, Karen. Order a cab for Mr. SquarePants. He's needed down on the lot. Make it a yellow cab. He should like that. Ah, uh, this is terrible. Where is the fun? Ow! I'm not wearing the right shoes. I need my headband. Oh, I didn't stretch out first. That kid is so annoying. Yes, my hollow spherical accomplice. But it'll prove an adequate distraction for our bumbling superheroes. The sneaky hermit will be pleased. Let's invite our new chum to my lair. We can concoct our evil plans over herbal tea. Oh, oh, oh. By the power of Darjeeling, what a capital idea! Wait, what's that? It sounds like the invisible buffoon mobile. Our heroes have arrived. I'll have a burger and fries. I mean, unhand that captive, you vile fiend. Mermaid Man, I knew you'd save me. You're too late, moron man. The mayor's child is trapped inside a vortex of stinkiness. <laughs> the treadmill creates static, keeping the vile stench from the chum bucket food at bay. But stop running and wham! It's nothing but slimy skin and skunk jokes for a really long time. <laughs> That's diabolical, dirty bubble. And really, time to... Yiki! Try to save the mayor's kid, if you will. It should keep you occupied for quite some time. Mermaid Man? Oh, sorry. It, it got caught up in the moment. So long, old-timers! Dag, Nabbit, this is only gonna stall us from finding the sneaky hermit. But we really gotta free the mayor's kid. Oh yeah, the kid. You're gonna be just fine. Oh, sweet, merciful Neptune! What is that smell? It's the vortex of stickiness, Mermaid Man. We've got to shut off this machine and free the captive. Did you shut it off? Nope. How about now? Nope. Now? Mm, nope. Ah, uh, anytime soon would be great. Is it on? Still? Nope. We are so mad! The double cross! While we were here, setting up traps to help the sneaky hermit, the hermit was busy stealing our lairs! Wow, that really is sneaky. Sounds like this hermit is sneakier than all of us. Um... What would you fellas say to combining forces and going after this villain together? That's pretty much why we're here. Well, that was easy. I know a hunter in jellyfish fields who could track anything. I bet we'll be able to pick up the sneaky hermit's trail with a little help. Well, there's nothing much left to say except... Supermanes from both sides of the fence of good and evil! <laughs> if it's no trouble, would you mind helping me before you go? I mean, if there's time. Oh, sorry. Let me get that for you. Well, if it isn't Kevin C. Cucumber, how are those jellyfish treating you? Fine. Ow! Just fine. Ow! Well, I trust you've thought of some interesting tests for the contestants. <laughs> oh, yes. I have devised some events that they will find truly... Ow! Oh, shocking. Superb! Shocking makes for great ratings. Let's get started. I'll be waiting. Okay, I'll... Ow! Oh, forget it. Kevin, that was fantastic! Well, I don't like to brag, but... Ow! So, who was the most electrifying contestant? Sponge... Ow! Bob Squarepants. Ow! Great! Nice work, Kevin. 
Get Mr. Squarepants down to wardrobe. So, where is this hunter, Pumpernickel boy? Hey, no name calling during the truce, remember? Maybe the hunter is hunting the jellyfish king. Or maybe we're wasting our time. What if this hunter knows nothing or doesn't even exist? I sense with my keen hunter senses that you seek the sneaky hermit. What's that name? Please, use your indoor voice. If you're very quiet, I'll help you. Curse that name! Good job. Follow me. Hermit crabs carry a lot on their backs, so they're always in danger of tipping over. I see. I see. When I wear my glasses, which I've lost again. Who is standing on my foot, man, Ray? For goodness sake! You don't have a foot, you infernal ball! The hermit is stealing bigger things. I bet there's a really big building in the hermit's sights. The hermit wears tights? The permit test bites? Old Herbert was right. The jelly pudding was lightly toasted and pajamas? I think the hermit wears soft wool underpants. What the? That's not helpful. Well, it could be. Yes, you never know. Comfort is important, young ward. Oh, pardon me. Well, I am full of air, you know. Oh, I can't take it anymore! I'll track the hermit myself. Oh, well, that's decent of you. <laughs> you can come with us in our invisible boat mobile. Don, how are things? Ripped and ready, baby! Right. Well, what have you got lined up for our competitors? These puny little weaklings won't know what's about to hit them. I have ten years hard labor for them, mashed into ten minutes! Great. Make sure only the best one is left standing. Oh, oh yeah! They are in for jail time they will not soon forget! Okay, okay. I'll be waiting. Great, Don. Just great. You really put them through a tough tryout. Hey, Gil. Most of the weaklings fell by the wayside, but we have our prison champion, our top dog, our number one, our numero uno. Okay, okay, okay. I get the idea. Who's the winner? Our prison warden is going to be... SpongeBob SquarePants! SpongeBob? Kind of puny for a prison warden, but he could still demand respect. Thanks, Don. Send a car for Mr. Squarepants. He's needed down on the set. Now let's go over it again. Are you sure you didn't hit the building obliteration button when you were fooling around with your utility belt? I'm sure of it, Barnacle Boy. I was full of cheesecake. I reached down to loosen my belt, and I pressed this button by accident. Oh, jeez. I, 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 I sure wish you'd stop fiddling with that thing. You make me nervous. Nothing to be afraid of, Barnacle Boy. It's just my chin cam. Looky. Such a handsome chin. And here's the picture I took at the Sand Stadium, right before it vanished. Well, that proves it wasn't you that caused the mess. This time, at least. Ooh, I know a story about mess. And it's not about Gary's litter box. Bah! It's about an inmate years ago called Messy Messerson. Though some called him Stanley. Nice guy, nice guy. Uh, yeah, thanks. Uh, somehow I don't think this is the work of someone called Stanley. No, it doesn't sound like Stanley's style at all. Stanley Messy Messerson likes to make a mess. The sand stadium vanished too cleanly. Man Ray! Oh, our second most arch nemesis. That's right, Super Zeros. It's me! So, what are you in for? I got caught jaywalking. Could you believe it? <laughs> <laughs> you think that's bad? I got caught for having bad breath in a public place. 
A dirty bubble! Our number one arch nemesis. That's enough of that, gentlemen. Spoil sport. Let's talk about the disappearance of the Sand Stadium. I think the stadium was a giant monster in disguise. Monster? In disguise, yeah! Or maybe it was the Sneaky Hermit. The Sneaky Hermit, of course! This crime shows all the signs that have been present throughout the Hermit's criminal career. What signs? What does the Sneaky Hermit do? I think it would be fair to say that the Sneaky Hermit steals building. A fine observation, my villainous companion. Now, if everyone will excuse us, this sudden freedom has renewed my eagerness for villainy. Come, Dirty Bubble! Ooh, let's start with jaywalking. They couldn't possibly catch us twice. We should probably catch those two, you know. All in good time, Barnacle Boy. All in good time. First, I think we've got a hermit to catch. We'll start with the beach, cause hermits love the beach. To the invisible boatmobile! Away! Nobody move. I think this building is unstable. Ah, Cannonball Jenkins. Who better to judge potential stunt doubles? How are you, Cannonball? No, I do not want to go to the mall, dag nabbit! Shitty folk! I told you no good would come from shitty folk! Why, when I was a boy... Um, uh, um, uh, yeah, yeah, right, right. And what have you got planned for our fearless competitors? Doors? What doors? I don't see no doors! <laughs> City folk and their fancy doors? Why, when I was a boy... Are you ready for the stunt tryouts? Brussels sprouts? Now you're just plain talking crazy! I haven't had to eat Brussels sprouts since I was a boy! Whatever! Just roll the camera. Sheesh! And then back in 42, I got shot out of a cannon over enemy lines. Spent eight months stuck in a tree, I did. All those were the days. Cannonball, that was great! So, who's the winner? Dinner? I don't need dinner. Hey, nabbit, it's morning, you crazy city folk. I told you no good would come from city folk. Jeez, who is the winner? Winner? Well, why didn't you just ask? The youngin' SpongeBob SquarePants! Finally! Well, thanks, Cannonball. Get Mr. SquarePants down to the stunt double set. Well, that's it! All the roles have been cast. Now to the tally up the popularity points and decide who wins the Super Villain role. Gil Hammerstein speaking. Ah, sir, it is lovely to... Yes, sir, we finished casting all the roles for the special Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy episode. The contestants were... Yes, sir, I I'm just figuring out who wins the... Yes, sir, yes, sir, the winner is... SpongeBob! SpongeBob has won the... Super Villain! Role. Yes, sir, we filled all the roles. We can finally see the episode. Okay, sir, I will put it through to you now. Hope you like it. The new adventures of Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. Mermaid Man, forceful, fearless, regular. Aided by his trusted ward, Barnacle Boy. Most important meal of the day. No, oh, put me down, you old coot. Protecting our seas and homes from a rogue's gallery of villains, including... Their number one arch nemesis, the Dirty Bubble. A booga, booga, booga. <laughs> and the second most arch nemesis, Man Ray. Oh, come on. What does it take to get to number one in this town? Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. Well, they're better than nothing. By the power of Neptune, unite! The Sand Stadium, cultural hub of our undersea art community, home of quality music from Bikini Bottom's finest performers, and also these guys. It's good to know if there's any trouble, the audience is safe tonight. 
for amongst them are Bikini Bottom's finest crime fighters, and also these guys. Barnacle Boy? Barnacle Boy? Oh, what is it now? I'm trying to watch. Who's winning? What are you... Oh, look, I told you, it's a musical performance, not a football game. Ah, you're only saying that because your team's losing. Oh, no, I... Oh, jeez. Who scored? My big moment as a maestro! Stay cool, SpongeBob. They're all watching you. Yeah. Oh! Uh, here's the whale pants! One, two, three, four! That quarterback is showing real promise this season. Did you find the hot dogs chewy this evening, Barnacle Boy? That wasn't a hot dog. It was the arm of the chair, you old coot. I thought it was a bit stale and hard to lift. Phew. I probably shouldn't have eaten all that cheesecake either. Maybe they're all getting up to dance. Oh, what have you done this time, Mermaid Man? Oh, look! It's Mermaid Man! He's gone mad and destroyed the sand stadium! Someone call the police! Mermaid Man must have gone evil! Ah, oh, jeez. Come on, Mermaid Man, we better get to the bottom of this disappearance before we're arrested. I hope the merchandise stand hasn't sold out of those big foam hands. <laughs> I love those things. Sorry, Barnacle Boy. I must be in the passenger seat. Remind me again why we made the invisible boatmobile invisible. That rock hasn't moved for a while. And that seaweed is swaying a little too quickly. That coral looks awfully... Officers, be on the lookout for Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy in their invisible boatmobile. They are believed to be old and dangerous. Officers, SpongeBob understands! Over! Officer, have you seen Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy? Wow, my heroes. That sounded like the Invisible Boatmobile. Was that them? Steven, I mean, Roger, I mean... Apprehend them at once. I am on it. I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready! Hey, I didn't know we had I'm a radio. Ready, I'm ready. Barnacle Boy, I love this song. That's not a song, you twit. It's a police siren. Barnacles, we need time to solve the disappearing building mystery, and we can't do that if we're arrested. I'm sorry, I was thinking about cabbage. You were saying? Floor it! <laughs> succeed having trouble <gasps> oh there they are uh mermaid man not now son i'm trying to concentrate on all these deep twists and turns uh mermaid man they'll never catch us now they couldn't keep up with the boat mobile i'm bringing them in sir They have arrested Mermaid Man for my crimes. Which doesn't sound fair, really, but ah, I am a super villain, and that is what we do. So I guess I shall go do more villainous type stuff. Newsflash! It is believed that the masterminds behind the disappearance of Sand Stadium are none other than Bikini Bottom heroes Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. When questioned, the older hero had this to say. Is that a microphone? Is it time for pudding? Do these pants feel damp to you?
The ex-heroes are now doing time in Bikini Bottom Jail. We will keep you updated with further updates. Now let's go over it again. Are you sure you didn't hit the building obliteration button when you were fooling around with your utility belt? I'm sure of it, Barnacle Boy. I was full of cheesecake. I reached down to loosen my belt, and I pressed this button by accident. Oh, jeez. I, 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 I sure wish you'd stop fiddling with that thing. You make me nervous. Nothing to be afraid of, Barnacle Boy. It's just my chin cam. Looky. Such a handsome chin. And here's the picture I took at the Sand Stadium, right before it vanished. Well, that proves it wasn't you that caused the mess. This time, at least. Ooh, I know a story about mess. And it's not about Gary's litter box. Bah! It's about an inmate years ago called Messy Messerson. Though some called him Stanley. Nice guy, nice guy. Uh, yeah, thanks. Uh, somehow I don't think this is the work of someone called Stanley. No, it doesn't sound like Stanley's style at all. Stanley Messy Messerson likes to make a mess. The sand stadium vanished too cleanly. Man Ray! Oh, our second most arch nemesis. That's right, Super Zeros. It's me! What are you in for? I got caught jaywalking. Would you believe it? <laughs> <laughs> you think that's bad? I got caught for having bad breath in a public place. <laughs> a dirty bubble! Our number one arch nemesis. That's enough of that, gentlemen. Spoil sport. Let's talk about the disappearance of the Sand Stadium. I think the stadium was a giant monster in disguise. Monster? In disguise, yeah! Or maybe it was the Sneaky Hermit. The Sneaky Hermit? Of course! This crime shows all the signs that have been present throughout the Hermit's criminal career. What signs? What does the Sneaky Hermit do? I think it would be fair to say that the Sneaky Hermit steals building. A fine observation, my villainous companion. Now, if everyone will excuse us, this sudden freedom has renewed my eagerness for villainy. Come, Dirty Bubble. Ooh, let's start with jaywalking. They couldn't possibly catch us twice. We should probably catch those two, you know. All in good time, Barnacle Boy. All in good time. First, I think we've got a hermit to catch. We'll start with the beach, cause hermits love the beach. To the invisible boatmobile! Away! Nobody move. I think this building is unstable. Newsflash! Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy have been cleared of suspicion in the disappearance of the Sand Stadium. Authorities are now on the lookout for a crab called the Sneaky Hermit, who is still at large and may have accomplices. On the lookout for a crab called the Sneaky Hermit, who is still at large and may have accomplices. You're in the news, boss! Oh, I'm so proud of you! Well, sure, boss. I'll stick to my lookout job. Let's see what I can see. Fishy. Fishy, fishy. <laughs> oh, my favorite superheroes! <laughs> I might have these the wrong way around. Greetings, sea creature. Whoa! What can I get you, gentlemen? Gelp Sunday? Sea cucumber split? Information on any of the major supervillains? Super what now? No, I'd like two scoops of high-fiber ice cream with Brussels sprout sprinkles. Mm. Oh, thought you might have been looking for a supervillain. Someone hermit-like, a bit sneaky. There's a sale on underpants. I, I mean, a sneaky hermit. That's the one. 
was here not long back. Said something about being hungry. Something about the crusty crab. Jumpin' jellyfish mermaid man, the sneaky hermit must be at the crusty crab. We should go immediately. Well, I don't need new undies, but I'm happy to go to the crusty crab. Away! Well, I got rid of them for you. I will make sure you get a pretty badge for your service. Great. Thanks. No, really. Yellow. Hi, boss! Oh, yep, I won't let anyone else through. No one's getting past these super sharp eyes again. Ah! Barnacles! What can I do for you, Mr. Man Ray and Mr. Dirty Bubble Sirs? Oh, I knew these disguises wouldn't work. What a waste of two bucks. Uh, we're looking for the Sneaky Hermit's secret hideout. The secret one? That's just over the hill there. Well, that was easy. Sure. Follow the signs. You can't miss it. All this stuff is mine, cause I am evil, see? I am the Sneaky Hermit! Wahahaha! And soon, my little friend, soon! You know I should get that chair fixed. Meow. Soon, all of Bikini Bottom will be on my back. <laughs> Why did you leave me? You took our home, and now I'm evil, and I just want to steal all of Bikini Bottom. And Meow. oh, visitors. The famous Sneaky Hermit, we meet at last. We just broke out of the joint. And we brought cookies! Kelp Chip, my favorite! Come in! What can I do for you fellas? We've noticed you've been doing some delightfully evil work of late. And we're thinking of a team-up. A team-up of evil! <laughs> We'll help each other out, hatch evil plans, make prank phone calls. It'll be fun. What do you say? Ooh, friends. Sounds fun and could fit right into my own selfish and evil plans. Blah. You got it. <laughs> Distract Mermaid Man with this captive. Then we can play. Play evil. Hurrah! I think this is going to work out just fine. Come, Dirty Bubble, let's begin our alliance of sneakiness. Let's go to the chum bucket. I have an idea. See you soon, Sneaky Hermit. Yes, farewell, Hermit. I think this is the beginning of a diabolical friendship. Yay, friendship! I mean, yes, diabolical. <laughs> Now everyone will be out of my way! Hooray! I am off to visit a couple of unguarded supervillain lairs, little buddy. Guard the evil lair. And remember to brush your teeth. Ah, the Krusty Krab. Home of the world-famous Krabby Patty. And today, it is... Hey, buddy! I'm narrating this scene! Pardon? Ooh, sorry. My mistake. Please, carry on. Thank you. <clears throat> the Krusty Krab! Here we find Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy sent to find the Sneaky Hermit. But the Hermit is not here. Only tasty and nutritious meals at affordable prices. Ooh, Monsieur, that was very good. Why, thank you! I have had some training, and... Hey, is this thing still on? Ooh, the barnacles. Oh, come on, Mermaid Man. That shady character at the beach obviously sent us on a wild goose chase. Don't be silly, son. There are no wild geese here. We're at the bottom of the ocean. Waiter. Oh, jeez. Ah, yeah. huh. A little more pepper, please. I sure do love it. Pepper up! A little more. More. A little more, thanks. Just a bit more. Uh, how about you just keep that pepper? Thanks! I sure love that pepper! 
Hey, no. <laughs> We're wasting time. We should be out finding the Sneaky Hermit. Did you say Sneaky Hermit? Yes, I did. The Hermit used to be in my tap dancing class. Well, that's a coincidence. Uh-huh. Do you have any idea where this Hermit is now? Nuh-uh. Well, have you seen anything suspicious? Would suspicious be like, uh, seeing Man Ray drag a wriggling sack into the chum bucket, perhaps? I call that suspicious. Cause no one goes into the chum bucket. When did you see this? Now, out the window. Merciful muscles, mermaid man, we've got work to do. To the chum bucket! Thank you for coming to the Krusty Krab. Please come again! Oh, yes, thanks. Uh, now where was I? Oh yeah, to the chum bucket away! Ah, uh, this is terrible. Where is the fun? Ow, I'm not wearing the right shoes. I need my headband. Oh, I didn't stretch out first. That kid is so annoying. Yes, my hollow spherical accomplice. But it'll prove an adequate distraction for our bumbling superheroes. The sneaky hermit will be pleased. Let's invite our new chum to my lair. We can concoct our evil plans over herbal tea. Oh, oh, oh. By the power of Darjeeling! What a capital idea! Wait, what's that? It sounds like the invisible buffoon mobile. Our heroes have arrived. I'll have a burger and fries. I mean, unhand that captive, you vile fiends. Mermaid Man, I knew you'd save me. You're too late, moron man. The mayor's child is trapped inside a vortex of stinkiness. <laughs> the treadmill creates static keeping the vile stench from the chum bucket food at bay. But stop running and yam! It's nothing but slimy skin and skunk jokes for a really long time. <laughs> That's diabolical, dirty bubble, and really tied to icky. Try to save the mayor's kid, if you will. It should keep you occupied for quite some time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, mermaid man? Oh, sorry. It, it got caught up in the moment. So long, old timers. Dang, Nabbit, this is only gonna stall us from finding the sneaky hermit. But we really gotta free the mayor's kid. Oh yeah, the kid. You're gonna be just fine. Oh, sweet, merciful Neptune! What is that smell? It's the vortex of stickiness, Mermaid Man. We've got to shut off this machine and free the captive. Did you shut it off? Nope. How about now? Nope. Now? Mm, nope. Ah, uh, anytime soon would be great. Is it on? Nope. Still? Nope. We are so mad! The double cross! While we were here, setting up traps to help the sneaky hermit, the hermit was busy stealing our lairs! Wow, that really is sneaky. Sounds like this hermit is sneakier than all of us. Um, what would you fellas say to combining forces and going after this villain together? That's pretty much why we're here. Well, that was easy. I know a hunter in jellyfish fields who could track anything. I bet we'll be able to pick up the sneaky hermit's trail with a little help. Well, there's nothing much left to say except... Supermates from both sides of the fence of good and evil! <laughs> if it's no trouble, would you mind helping me before you go? I mean, if there's time. Oh, sorry. Let me get that for you. So, where is this hunter, Pumpernickel boy? Hey, no name calling during the truce, remember? Maybe the hunter is hunting the jellyfish king. Or maybe we're wasting our time. What if this hunter knows nothing or doesn't even exist? 
I sense with my keen hunter senses that you seek the sneaky hermit. What's that name? Please, use your indoor voice. If you're very quiet, I'll help you. Curse that name! Good job. Follow me. Hermit crabs carry a lot on their backs, so they're always in danger of tipping over. I see. I see. When I wear my glasses, which I've lost again. Quit standing on my foot, Man Ray. For goodness sake, you don't have a foot, you infernal ball! The hermit is stealing bigger things. I bet there's a really big building in the hermit's sights. The hermit wears tights? The permit test bites? Old Herbert was right. The jelly pudding was lightly toasted and pajamas? I think the hermit wears soft wool underpants. What the? That's not helpful. Well, it could be. Yes, you never know. Comfort is important, young ward. Oh, pardon me. Well, I am full of air, you know. Oh, I can't take it anymore! I'll track the hermit myself. Oh, well, that's decent of you. <laughs> you can come with us in our invisible boat mobile. Away. Uh. Newsflash! Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy have enlisted the help of the finest hunter in jellyfish fields. It is believed that the sneaky hermit is somewhere in downtown Bikini Bottom, not far from this very... stew Dio. Um, we'll be right back. Downtown Bikini Bottom, a fitting setting for our final battle. A dramatic location for the powers of good and evil to clash climactically. And a really good place for pizza. That hunter sure left in a hurry. I didn't even get a chance to say bye-bye. Well, you were annoying, Dirty Bubble. I was annoying. All that disgusting belching. Knock it off. It doesn't matter. We know all we need to know about the Sneaky Hermit. Indeed. We'll soon put an end to the Stinky Hermit. <laughs> <laughs> the Hermit's really in for a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, Barnacle Boy. Where did you park the invisible boatmobile? Oh, I didn't park it, Mermaid Man. You did. <laughs> it's just over... Oh, my gosh. Uh, the invisible boatmobile. It's been stolen. And I'm the one who's got it. The Sneaky Hermit. They don't come any sneakier, boys. You've been busy, Hermit. You've stolen almost the whole town. And put it all on your back, too. It's reasonably impressive. You stole our invisible boatmobile, sneaky hermit. You stole our evil lairs. E evil bears? But why, hermit? Why did you do it? I wanted the best home ever. A home? You've got all of Bikini Bottom on your back. What's your plan? To put the whole town on your back? Then the next town, then eventually the whole world? Maybe. All on your back? Where will you stand? Wow. I'm an evil genius who wants to take over the world, but even I'm not that crazy. Enough talk. Can we fight already? Hurrah! Prepare to make a fool of yourself, sneaky hermit. I am already there, Mermaid Man. I hope you brought a stunt double, Hermit, because this is gonna hurt. Sea creatures of the deep, unite! By all things dirty, I uh, make you dirty! Sneaky Hermit's about to steal the Sea Needle! 
Oh, nuts. That's the last building in Bikini Bottom. Oh, barnacles. Oh, I cannot lift it. Why, why, why? I know, I know. It's locked. Looky. You could just take that lock off and then take the building. You could even use those window washer platforms to get up there. Hey, thanks. Oh, why do you good guys have to be so helpful? We should, um, probably try to stop that from happening. <laughs> Excellent idea, Barnacle Boy. All those in favor? Aye! Aye. All against? Nay! Quiet, you! All right, there's not much left to say, but to the window washing platforms on the side of the Sea Needle Building to rescue Bikini Bottom from the clutches of the evil sneaky hermit, away! You'll never get away with this, you sneaky thing. Can we hurry this up? I'm getting a bit dizzy here. Okie doke. Have a bite of my hermit nippers! <laughs> Your nippers are no match for my dirty breath of doom! <sighs> oh, jeez. <coughs> oh, that's worse than Mermaid Man's socks. Hey, you should try my sneaky frightener. Boo. Oh! oh. Okay, now this is getting weird. The powers of good will prevail. Behold, Raging Whirlpool. Hey, won't watch it. You're gonna make me spill my, spill my lunch. Mermaid Man, that's it, spilling. The hunter told us that if the hermit loses balance, then everything on its back can fall off. And the hermit is susceptible to sneezing. You know what that means? We're having prune and broccoli pudding for dessert tonight? No, you old coot. Pepper. We use some pepper and make the hermit sneeze. Good idea, Barnacle Boy. If only we had some. You got some in your pocket from before. Oh, this isn't helping at all. Hey, here's some pepper. OK, <laughs> hermit, I've got a handful of pepper here, and I got to warn you, it's especially tasty. The jig is up. It shall take more than pep. Uh-oh. By the power of Neptune, I give you a handful of delicious pepper. You know, being up here doesn't feel safe anymore. You got that right, old man. Let's scoop. <laughs> I think those bumbling ninnies might be on to something. Let's get out of here. Not so fast, Man Ray. I'm still feeling queasy. I am flying. Well, we sure did teach that little critter something about not stealing buildings and storing them on your back and plotting to take over the world. We sure did. And teaming up with our enemies worked. Spinning, spinning, spinning! <laughs> feeling good now, dirty bubble? No, I think I'm almost back to feeling evil again. Oh. So, would you like to come and throw rocks with us? No, we're still good, I'm afraid. Oh. So, um, oh, the heck with it. Come, Dirty Bubble, I'm tired of all this goodness. Let's go steal chocolate chips out of the prison warden's cookies. Now you're talking. Time for some evil. Evil. <laughs> <laughs> uh... Mermaid Man? Yes, son? Are you gonna, uh, fix that anytime soon? All in good time, Barnacle Boy. So, what do you say we go see the rest of that performance at the Sand Stadium? 
We're going back to the football game? Hot dog! I love football! Oh, jeez. It's not foot... Uh, oh, whatever. Yeah, let's go see the rest of the football game. Yippee! <laughs> ice cream, ice cream. Can I have ice cream? As much as you want, old chump. <laughs> Best day ever! And so, once again, the forces of madness have been outdone by the forces of goodness. And thank goodness there's an end to the madness. Tune in next time for another mostly interesting episode of The New Adventures of Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. Ah, uh, monsieur, you really are very good at that. Thanks again, my French companion. There's a funny story about how I got into cartoons. You see, when I was just a kid, I had this deep voice.